Alright, in this video I will show you how to get uh, Dio in the event uh, design of Strife, so DOS, at least uh, the skin of Cardigan, which is the main reward of this event, because the rest you can uh, farm then uh, from the normal stage, uh, while uh, the skin is uh, limited. If you lose it, you cannot get it back. The main goal of this video is to reach at least level 35. To do that, you just need to complete um, all the T stages, at least to T4. If you can complete the T5, it will be easier because you will have 100 extra points. And complete at least uh, A1. So let me explain. To get the skin, you need at least level 35, which is 1,400 points. Every T stage will give you 100 points. Then uh, from... Uh, from C3 you can get uh, 300, from B3 you can get uh, 450, so plus uh, 300 will be 750, plus 500 will be 1250 if you complete the T5. If you don't complete the T5 it will be 1150, so you still need um, 150 to 250. Now how to get the points? If you complete uh, A2 even using all the buffs, so just take all the buffs, uh, A2, you will get all the rewards from uh, this row. If you complete uh, A2, but uh, keeping one star, so leaving at least uh, 30 points, uh, you will be able to get uh, till here. So, by doing this, uh, here there are 295 points. So just uh, doing T1, T2, T3 and T4, plus A2 and uh, uh, at least one star, you can get uh, till level 36. Because as you can see in this account, uh, uh, Yen account, uh, since the T5 is not released yet, uh, I got 36. So or you do this, or you can just wait uh, um, the release, complete all five uh, T stages, uh, and then complete uh, at least uh, um, at least uh, A2, taking all the buffs, uh, take the rewards from A1. Be why you why doing on A2 and not directly A1 without the buffs? Because uh, without the buff A1 is harder than with the buff A2, since uh, the only change is just uh, having. Um, this uh, and this uh, Volcano thingy. I mean, in this video I will show you all the T-Stages anyways, because in JP account, in JP server is already open, but um, I will show you A2 leaving one star. So up to you if you want to clear, take these 50 points or not, because uh, you can make it a lot sim more simple if you take this buff, uh, this one, or the sniper. Yeah, up to you. Alright, let's clear T1. This stage is pretty hard, but we just uh, need the uh, Redalter, then Frag Vanguard, uh, Shireoki, Padding, Podenko, Grey as uh, operators who can slow and um, crowd control a bit the enemies. A few defenders, uh, Ethan to bind, uh, and in the end, um, Pure Swim uh, as a healer. Um, you can just use the first skill. If you have uh, a Yalter, that's even better because a Yalter is really, really good at the healing. And uh, let's do this. First of all, immediately, Flag Vanguard here to gain DP, then Red Alter here facing right side. Ethan here facing on right side. Odenko here facing on top side. Shirauki here facing on right side. The strategy is just uh, Crowd control as much as possible the enemies, letting Red Alter make the giant explosions, killing everyone. This is the core strategy. Now padding here face on right side. So we need a lot of slow padding as chain caster. So if you can, uh, if you have uh, uh, passenger, for example, is really good. Now when 30 seconds remain, activate the Red Alter skill. Grey here face on right side to slow down, get the DP. Medic here, face on right side, you can retreat to the flag vanguard. Okay, last a few seconds, they will just die from the cooldown. Second wave, the harder part is uh, to kill uh, the boss. Actually, the boss is the problem. You can see the boss will just uh, go around. Deploy, fast deploy here to let the boss uh, kite. So, by doing this, you can slow him down. Okay, let the fast deploy die by killing by getting killed by enemies. When there's a big crocodile is incoming from bottom side, just activate a padding skill to slow down. This operator uh how is called the Podenko skill to slow down. Now the boss will do ranged attack here on bottom side, but it's totally fine, don't worry. Uh, activate a Shirayuki skill, activate a grey skill, activate a Red no Red Alter, keep it when there are there are 30 seconds remain. Activate a 
Um, how is it called? Ethan skill. And deploy a defender here to block uh, the boss. Read alter skill now. So you can make uh, a lot of explosions, dealing damage to the boss as well. Now, let the boss uh, go toward the top, top side here. Make sure that there are no crocodiles in the middle, so uh, else they will only take damage from the defender. So do this one to block the boss mainly. And with the explosion of the slugs, you can kill the boss. Just like this. Then make sure that you heal your op operators, so when the boss dies, we'll do a really big explosion dealing uh, damage. Normally you cannot one-shot our defender, um, ranger units, so make sure that you can you heal them before the boss explodes. Now last five seconds remain. The boss will get killed by... Oh, he didn't get killed by the cooldown because he was reviving. It's fine, he will just run around and then get killed. Last wave is the most hard because there are too many enemies. You must time really well your skills. First of your enemies, just let them get killed by auto attacks of your units. Here, nothing to worry about in theory. Yeah. When uh, these two gender crocodile in middle incoming, activate uh, Grey skill, Eden skill, Padding skill, Shirayuki skill, Podenko skill, no need for now, and activate around now, Breed Alter skill as well. Push this enemy back. Podenko skill. Heal. Ah, no need because uh, Redalter just healed. And now just to slowly, slowly kill the rest of enemies as well. If you couldn't kill, you can leak up to two enemies, remember. The life on this stage doesn't really matter. Important is that you can survive at least with one HP. Okay. Last wave, and now be careful because a lot of slugs will come. Just use your, all your resources to kill the enemies. If possible, use Podenko skill to don't let the slugs uh, kill your units. You can activate the Ethan skill around now. Blow down a bit the slugs, since they are really annoying. If you let the slug go here, the explosion will probably kill your Ethan, so be careful. Heal a bit. Play on speed 1, guys, huh? be careful. Here, 29 seconds for the... Okay, as you can see here, around, just to deploy a defender. This one here to block them. Ah, Ethan got killed. Them. Well, it's fine, guys. It's totally fine. If you could save, that's, uh, that would be great. Because Ethan, the binding at the end uh, will probably be useful. But if you couldn't, uh, it's uh, totally fine. Now, your job is to block a bit these two crocodiles and these two crocodiles. Because if you let them rush to you, you don't have enough DPS. You must save until 30 seconds remain and then activate uh, uh, Redalter skill. Actually, not the 30 seconds remain. Uh, just when the slugs are incoming. So on bottom side, block a bit these units. On top side, block a bit these two champions. Then uh, Redalt, I mean, yeah, Redalter, Podenko, this one, this one, Grey, everyone's a skill to burst as much possible. You can block a bit the enemies. Now the explosion, as you can see, boom. You can leak up to two enemies, so if you cannot kill the one of the champions, it's fine. This one probably can get killed, yes. And uh, yeah, here we go. Perfect. T1 completed. Now let's clear T2, which is a lot more simple, respect to T1. And the squad we're going to use are just this. Uh, Skadi Altor, second skill, Core Operator from the support unit, then Flag Vanguard, Pusher, first skill, all your tankiest defenders, then uh, AoE Medic, Burst Medic, Flag uh, Normal Vanguard, defensive one, and let's do this. Last three slots, I recommend you to bring a Lancet 2 as well for the emergency healing. But, anyways, first of all, immediately, Flag Vanguard here, Skadi Altor to charge the skill. Here we medic first here, face on left side. Then deploy Vanguard here. To gain DP. You should be able to get enough DP in time to block this enemy. If you cannot, just leak him. 
But if you can, try to block. Activate the healing here. Now, push her here for some bottom side. Defender here to block this defender. Scuddy will get the skill almost ready. So just to uh, handle a bit of longer. Okay, now deploy another defender here to block. Deploy Seaborn to heal show. 7 seconds, so try to resist. 2, 1, boom. All of them dead. At this point, retreat the flag vanguard. Deploy the med burst medic here for some bottom side and change this vanguard into your tankiest defender. You can retreat the Seaborn. Now, just periodically put the Seaborn to heal uh, show because uh, these plastic knights, as you can see, they are able to hit uh, him. You don't need damage. Actually, if you have a strong medic here, for example, Shining, so beside the Scuddy, you can also increase the defense further with the Shining. You can put a Caster here face on bottom side to help kill these enemies. But uh, if you don't have DPS, just uh, try to survive as long as possible, try to stall the enemies. This can also work. 10 more seconds. Okay. Last wave, which is the hardest one. Put the Seaborn here to heal. Then around now you can retreat. This, uh, besides being super tanky, they will also deal a lot of damage. And because uh, we have uh, these um, enemies which will reduce the attack of uh, our units. Try to keep your skills for the last um, wave. Seaborn to heal show. And just to keep go. For now we, we have a nine blocks in total here. For now we have five enemies, so we can block four more enemies. But of course, you can see, they only two of them on this defender, they are already doing a lot of damage. But we cannot activate the skill yet, we must keep it for the last wave, so activate the medic skill instead. Oh, Seaborn to heal show. Burst the healer here. To increase the healing. Keep the defender skill. You can see this one lasts for 30 seconds. This one 35 seconds. You can activate this one already. This one 37 seconds, so wait a bit. 30 seconds, so activate the Quora skill. This one lasts for 27 seconds. So activate the skill as well. You can leak uh, two more enemies, but let's try to don't leak anyone. For now everything good, just to survive for 15 more seconds. Go go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. 3, 2, 1, GG. Bam. Everyone is dead. Really simple. In this game mode, literally, you just have to survive until the end. No, no DPS required. Let's clear T3, which, which is a bit, a lot harder than T2. And the core plate we're going to use is a Mliner from the support unit, then Flag Vanguard, two of your best snipers, and you need someone really good as a third sniper. So it's just only used at the last wave, because that's the wave with the, uh, all the drones. But it requires you to get a pretty good sniper. You can uh, use uh, like a 5 stars, for example, if you have, you can use uh, Blue Poison. Uh, Platinum, uh, you can deploy already at the beginning if you have, because she can charge the attack. Then you can, for example, use uh, Great Throat, a little too, if you have. Um, mm, Meteorite can also work, etc. etc. If you have 6 star, even better. Or you can use Casters as well, like Aya second skill. Or Dusk, Dusk, if you have the module, first skill as well. Uh, my friend didn't build. So yeah, I will just, I will just use a Cruise Alter because she's, uh, she was the Wolfer, so free operator. And uh, after that, uh, you will need the medics, uh, burst the healer, heli drop a healer, a lot of defenders, uh, medic defenders, fast deploy defensive one, last a lot up to you. Because this stage is really annoying. First of all, uh, immediately deploy flag vanguard here to gain DP, then uh, this is a sniper, this is a sniper. I will not use, uh, I, I mean, I will only use it at the last wave. So don't worry about that, uh, mainly for the last wave. Medic here, face on the left side, the burst healer. You can see, we don't have a lot of piles to deploy our units. Most of them are 
affected by the ground fire, which deals tons of damage, really annoying. And uh, just activate the mineral skill around the now. Okay, kill the enemies, get more DP. Okay, change this one into a defender just to block a bit of the enemies. And block this one using the fast deploy, waiting for 10 seconds for the enemies to disappear since the mineral skill is finished. Uh, now you can retreat to defender. Nice. Next wave. A lot of defensive uh, drones will spawn, so just use uh, main skill to kill them. Here you need to stall this golem for a bit, but just for a bit. So deploy a defender here for a moment. Around now, you can activate uh, Mlinar skill. So with this timing. By doing this, uh, Mlinar skill will be able to cover the next uh, enemy, uh, next uh, golem as well. And you will need, uh, um, you can see this, this one is leaking, right? You will need a bit of help from uh, this uh, sniper, just uh, needed to deal a few hits. Mainly to help kill this uh, uh, drone. Okay, at least one of them, because else we will probably leak two. You needed to keep at least one skill point. I mean, two skill points, because you needed to leak one golem later. Now, around 25 seconds remaining, activate the burst healer from this defender. I mean, medic. Deploy now this defender here to block the golem, since the mliner doesn't have the skill. Block this caster using the fast deploy. Just resist. Okay. Two, one, zero. Nice. Now retreat. The defender. And the last wave, the most hard one. Be careful, you need to pay attention to a lot of stuff, especially the drones. If you don't pay, like if you get distracted for one moment, the drone will drop the bomb, boom, your range of your units are dead. Anyways, use main skill to burst a bit this uh, drone. Okay. Now activate the burst healer here to keep a miner alive. Deploy a bomb. Uh, fast deploy to bait the bomb, then retreat, burst the healer here, drop down to help a bit of healing, since we don't have enough, uh, we must keep a Mlinar alive. Around now, when the golem is approaching Mlinar, activate Mlinar skill. Now you can retreat uh, uh, this uh, medic. Okay, more drone, more Swiss, uh, these drones are incoming, so just uh, deploy. If you want the uh, last drone, you can bring a lancet to deploy somewhere to uh, emergency healing a bit. I was saying, we need to bait again the bomb here. Since the gravel is ready, we can just uh, use a gravel. Okay, nice. Now Mlina will kill these two enemies as well, really annoying. Activate the main skill. Around now, you can uh, retreat uh, this medic. To deploy Cruz to charge the skill. Single block Venga here to bait the bomb. So your strongest sniper after yeah the last minute of the game. You needed to start to charge the skill for the last wave. Now if you timed pretty well, Mlinar should be able to kill this caster as well before the skill finish. Now deploy a medic defender here to block these units. Since we don't have the medic here anymore, we must block around here. Now Cruz skill can last for 30 seconds. So let's try to Wait, this is the golem you have to leak, guys. Here, activate uh, this one, cross skill. Okay, gravel to bait the bombs. Cross, come on. I believe in you, nice, perfect. Keep go, cross. Leak this golem, since we don't have anyone to kill. Mlinar is dead. And... Uh, Okay, gravel again to bait this uh, medic defender skill to heal. Okay, that's why, as you can see, tons of drones. If you don't, if I didn't deploy Crusa here, you would see like at least ten drones here flying around. Uh, you already leaked, etc., etc. That's why you need the really good units here to defend. Now deploy uh, this unit here, this defender here. Last ten seconds. Your last job, guys, is just to resist for ten seconds. Main skill again. Yeah, her job is done. You can deploy the medic back here to help a heal. Can you heal in time? Nice. No, he's dead anyways. Okay, four seconds. Three, two, one, zero. Here we go. 
Wow, really annoying stage, huh? Too many drones. Finally, time to kill her T4, slug nest eruption. Mm, really annoying map, just to get uh, rid of Alter from the support unit, then flag Vanguard, AoE guard, 4 of 4 tank is the defender, um, wide, heal, wide range healer, sniper, and a fast deploy defensive one. Reed Alter is the third skill, remember. First of all, immediately flag Vanguard here to gain DP. Activate the skill once you, it's ready and deploy immediately down, read the altar here, face on the other side. Then uh, fast deploy to help uh, block a few enemies. Then you can just uh, retreat, activate immediately, read altar skill to kill the first few enemies. Wide range healer here, face on top side. Okay. Pay attention to the slugs. Like if possible, try to separate one from another one, so at least when they explode, will not kill uh, uh, Red Alter, just like this, using fast deploy there. Now, last four seconds, three, two, one, okay, here we go. Now, second wave, just uh, prepare the defender here, your tank is the defender. Get enough DP. Then deploy... A defender here, just to block a bit the enemies. So we're waiting for and deploy now. Uh, first, deploy in the center to bait the stunning arrows. Remember, this is really important. Activate the red altar skill when he's ready. Kill, okay. Kill here as well, and just let the red to kill uh, all of the enemies. She will get the stun, um, but it's totally fine. She will immediately wake up because she got healed by Pure Stream, and a Pure Stream uh, can gain a resistance. If you don't have Pure Stream, then just deploy. If the first deploy dies, just uh, get more units to deploy down to bait the stunning arrow. Now, second wave also done. Let's go for the third one, which is the hardest. You can retreat to the Flag Vanguard. Sniper leader. Now. When these slugs start to move, sniper here, press on right side, deploy a defender here, medic defender, and in the end, fast deploy here in the center to bait the standing arrows. Okay, so this sniper can help kill some of the slugs before they can leak, and the red alter later will finish the job. So just activate the red alter skill immediately, now, when he's ready. This defender will probably die. Yes, expected. Same for the sniper, he's totally fine, guys, don't worry. Here, explosion, remember to heal. And just let the reader do the job, killing everyone. Nice. Most of them are dead, just so now deploy. Medic defender here. Here we guard here, face on top side. Retreat, actually wait. Retreat the fast deploy because the vanguard is ready, so now let the vanguard to bait the stunning arrows. Here the spot skill will be ready, so just a heal. If you want you can get a medic as well, just deploy the medic here to heal instead of the maxing and don't get all the squad, 12 operators. Here you need to deploy defender and swap again, fast deploy using the... Uh, I mean, retreat the flag vanguard to put the fast deploy to bait the sunny arrow after you deploy the defender because we need more blocks here. Activate the defensive skill here and 10 more seconds for Red Alter and she will just uh, kill everyone using the boom boom skill. Around now. Here, one enemy is leaking, ah, oh, it's fine. You can leak up to uh, two enemies if you want. Yeah, timer is finished. Here we go. Okay, let's clear T5, which is the last stage of the T stage sum of DOS. The score we're going to use is this one with the Mlinar, then Flag Vanguard, AOE Guard, two of your best medics, a lot of defenders, and a fast deploy. That's all we need. Let's do this. Pay attention to the details because this stage. It's pretty hard if you don't follow it. Follow them. 
First of all, we immediately flag Vanguard here, then the Mlinar here, and burst the Medic here, and the Medic Defender here in front. Now the Zerangela Durin, so we'll just uh, get the kill, kill, kill just, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just uh, kill themselves by hitting Mlinar, then uh, Defender here, to block uh, this enemy, since uh, there are too many of them. Okay, I don't know, activated the healing, since so we are lacking a bit, uh, you can use this burst of healing a bit later. Around 3 minutes, activate the linear skill, deploy another medic here based on top side, and around 2.56, deploy a fast deploy here to block this golem, because now they will start to go on bottom side. And if you let them walk just one pixel and then you deploy the operator, they will get pushed toward the mlaner. So when this operator dies, they will immediately hit the mlaner, kill him. So you must deploy before this one starts to move. Which means, first deploy, now we get one shot, but the moment he, she gets killed, you can see, the golem is still being super cringe finishing the animation. So by, you can take advantage from this short of time to deploy immediately an operator to block. So he cannot move, else we'll just kill Mlinar. Okay. Just get killed, then you sub oh, get DP, then you substitute using another one. Okay, now you can retreat because Mlinar's skill is finished. Now, retreat to this Vanguard to deploy this defender. Double defender, since there's another of the double block enemy. On top side, just deploy a melee guard to kill the two minions. The two Sicilians, as you can see, another double blade. Okay, for now everything good, just wait for Mlinar next uh, skill activation. Uh, after you kill the two C Sicilians, you can retreat uh, the AoE guard, activate the healing, since we need a bit. And now the golem will go on top side, giving you time and uh, freedom to activate uh, Mlinar's skill. So run now, activate it, when you're sure that the golem is not on Mlinar tile anymore. And these Durins will just kill themselves, hitting Mlinar as well. Okay, Mlinar skill is like a few more seconds. On, activate the burst of healing from this medic. You don't need to block this goal anymore because he will just... Uh, uh, yeah, he will not move before the skill is finished. No worry, no need to worry about that. Now this enemy will deal a lot of damage, but it's totally fine. Just let uh, him... Okay, retreat this defender, since the golem is going downside. Let this enemy go inside in the center. On top side, we need to block though. So pay attention. Okay, activate the healing. Okay, activate the minor skill when it's ready. Boom. Don't deploy anyone here on bottom side because else the golem will just uh, get pushed toward the mlinar. You can block after the golem starts to move by himself. And now mlinar will get one shot but uh, it's totally fine guys. Important is that you killed a lot of enemies uh, giving you time before the enemies can reach the blue box. Seven seconds guys. Perfect win. Mardok just uh, <laughs> taking a walk here. So with this we finished all the T-stages. Time to clear C3, which will give you 300 points if you complete it. C-stage, okay. So C3 without any buff, operation starts, squad is this one, flag vanguard, zero supporter, caster, fast deploy defensive one, med uh, defender, medic and soldier. Remember to pick the rest of the units. Just to bring more medics and more defenders of fast deploys. Now, first of all, immediately deploy Flag Vanguard here to gain DP. Then, slow support here, face on the left side. Deploy now. Okay, Caster here, face on the top side. Wait to get enough DP. Medic here, face on the left side to prepare for the next wave. Okay, when you see the defense crusher incoming, deploy now soldier here, face on the left side. And just activate the skill. In theory, you don't even need to block, so you should be able to kill. If you want, you can just uh, block for a moment. After you kill, the immediately, re immediately retreat the soldier. And let's wait. Now there's the enemy spawning from here. 
deploy a defender to block we are to, what we are waiting we are waiting for Sordor 24 seconds 22 20 I just wait Okay, when Surdo is ready, just retreat to this defender and deploy down Surdo Hero Face on top side. Then immediately use a Surdo skill and activate the Burst Healer from this medic. Now deploy. Fast, de fast deploy to block instead of uh, letting Surdo to block. Okay, this one leaked, but uh, if you blocked a bit earlier, you should Surdo could probably could kill. But uh, even if you leak with some HP, it's totally fine because uh, you're. Slower and the caster will just kill. Now this top side one as well, so you will slowly, slowly reduce the HP to really, really low. Slow supporter skill. Retreat the flag vanguard, also she will get crushed in one hit. As you can see, really simple. Yeah, the first stage is just a, a stage to give you points. Gift you points. Really easy. So after C3, let's clear B3. B3 really simple, we don't even need the buffs, just to get the core operator, KOB from the support unit, we did the second skill, Master 3, and we did the module. Flag Vanguard, Zero Supporter, two of your best casters, fast deploy defensive one, and three defenders. Let's do this. We don't even need the healing, since this uh, boss is really weak, because um, he doesn't have the second phase. First of all, immediately Flag Vanguard here to gain DP. Then just deploy KOB here, face on top side. Deploy fast deploy to bait the boss ceiling attack. After the boss used the attack, retreat. Okay, and deploy again. You don't need the flag vanguard anymore, but just the keep. Yeah. So can help block the normal enemies. Now with the boss, okay, the boss used the ceiling attack, just to retreat now this operator. Deploy this caster hero face on the upside. So KOB now will focus on killing this thingy. Then we'll kill that thingy. Okay, retreat this flag vanguard, we don't need anymore. And deploy gravel here. So now the boss will use the ceiling attack again. Activate the KOB skill, by the way, to burst the boss. Okay, now retreat gravel. So now KOB will kill this thingy. Instant kill it. Now... Just to focus on killing the boss, activate uh, this caster skill to kill the normal minions, block the boss here, using faster deploy. So you can see KOB is uh, shredding the boss. Now defender here. The damage is really high. Now before the boss dies, deploy a defender here in the corner to bait the fireballs. Retreat this defender, and as you can see, all the summon fireball will just go toward this defender now after the second fireball triggered just deploy now this defender here because now the third one will go toward this one and this one will kill this defender and after the second fireball here target this one deploy a fast deploy here and that's basically it slow supporter and the caster that's the five enemies, um, yeah, they are tanky, but the KOB will just uh, shred. Okay, second de defense crusher is also here, so KOB skill, this castle skill. And here we go. Really easy. Alright, time to complete uh, A2 to get the final reward. Here you just need to complete A2. So even if you take all the buffs so into the basic rest restoration, you will still be able to get all the rewards from the A1. So 45, 50, 50, 55, which is 200 points here. 
but by doing this you will still miss 50 points to get the skin uh, which means or you complete t5 to get the last points or you can just complete until a2 this one in fact in this video in in fact here i will show you how to complete it until here so just take these buffs the first and second one of the sniper First and second one of the defender, so making your defender tankier, because if you don't make them tankier, um, they cannot survive to this enemy, which has a 2000 of attack. At least if your defender is not elite 2, they cannot survive. If they are elite 2, then you can even do it without this buff. So, instead of doing it on A1, to get uh, without any buff, so just this, A1, they call the rewards, which is a lot harder since the enemy will one-shot our defenders, we can just do it on A2. And do it on A2, we take the buffs. Uh, buffs. Last one is this one, which will make uh, a light ground uh, take less damage. And the last 30 points, guys, is up to you. I can do it even without taking it. So again, I repeat, if you can, if you already cleared T5, so if you can clear T5 or to get 100 points, just spend all your points. If you cannot, if you don't want to clear T5 and you cannot clear it, then just don't uh, yeah, keep 30 points. And use it, don't use it. So at least you will get these 50 points as well here. The core operator we're going to use will be Typhon from the supper unit, then Flag Vanguard. Your tank is the defender, medic defender, fast deploy defensive one, few defenders, another tanky defender in terms of arts resistance or high HP, then uh, uh, just any double block Vanguard, triple medic, last slot you can bring whoever you want, I leave you the free choice. And let's do this. Let's put the end to this nightmare. At least uh, it's still possible to get the skin. With only one six star to all yeah. All T5 stage and this stage, only one six star. So at least I made you get the skin. I will not do further than this because A3 is a nightmare for low end. Same for S stage. Not worth waste your sanity, in real life sanity to do that. So double flag vanguard here, double vanguard here to gain DP. Since we, the main point of this event is, get at, is to get at least the skin, right? Now Typhon here face on top side. First deploy immediately to bait the boss's ceiling attack. Then uh, Typhon skill immediately, retreat uh, gravel to create the coffin. Now Medic here face on left side. Get more DP, another Medic here face on left side. And in the end deploy but uh, first deploy here, I mean defender here, face on bottom side, left side or upstairs, not on right side. Because the right side, remember, if there is an operator on the lava fissure, when it erupts, uh, will boom, be a ifrit attack. If you face on right side, the ifrit attacker can also damage a friendly unit, remember. So face on top, left, down, but not right. Now, when the boss starts to move, first deploy again here to bait the coffin attack. Um, then you just uh, retreat again. Nice. Now Medic here face on top side to prepare the skill. And as you can see, with the two Medics, Quora plus the buff from the stage can barely survive to this uh, enemy. 2000 attack is too much. Now Tanky Defender here. You can retreat this Vanguard, you can retreat this Vanguard as well. And now, just to play on speed 1, I recommend you. Now, your main job is to block this enemy outside of Typhon attack range, as you can see. And because you need to kill this Coffin first, which is trapping Gravel inside. So just activate this defender skill to tank less damage, activate the burst of healing here. The boss just used the ceiling attack on this defender. Now, skill, Typhon skill, so Typhon will kill this coffin. Free, which will give a freedom to gravel and then will target this seal on this defender. Now the boss will start to walk, Typhon will destroy this seal. The boss will use the seal again on this defender. Okay, as you can see, let the Typhon destroy this seal as well. And after we destroy this seal, retreat this operator. After destroying the seal, I remember. Let this enemy go inside a bit, so we'll be inside the Typhon attack range, so Typhon now can focus on killing these two enemies. Don't let the boss go inside the attack range, remember. You can just do a bit like this. Blocking a bit. Yeah, just let it get one shot. Activate the burst of healing around... Uh, not yet, around now, to keep this uh, defender alive. This enemy is getting killed, perfect. So now Typhon can kill, hit two targets, but there's a seal and this enemy first. Come on, Typhon. So don't let the boss kill this defender yet. Okay, after you kill this seal, once the seal is destroyed, 
Um, retreat, uh, actually, no need. I mean, just retreat because else will be killed. Let the boss go inside a bit so Typhon can target and deploy now this defender. Typhon, in theory, now will kill the other enemy because he's really low HP. Nice, perfect. And now we just have to keep stall the boss. Until we kill. So once the defender dies, replace it with another one. Now boss just sealed, it's totally fine. Typhon will destroy the seal. It's perfect. Got killed, then replace. As you can see, really simple, right? Now this one will be killed as well, around now. Yes. Let the boss walk a bit inside, then deploy, fast deploy to block and kill. And when you see the boss HP is really, really low, just retreat and let the boss walk in. Okay, the boss dead here. Once the boss is dying, deploy the Flag Vanguard hero, because now the boss will start to summon the fireballs. The fireball will target the last operator we deployed, which will be this one, so will be like this, but Typhon is charging attack and will always do double hit if there is on one enemy, so can instant spawn kill the fireball, as you can see. You can see, he's going toward the Myrtle, but will get killed before they can even increase their movement, spe movement speed. Now, don't let the boss die on this block. Must be around here, because this is a checkpoint. The boss will idle here for really, really, really long. So, during the second phase, when the boss is levitating, we can just kill here. Okay. Once the boss revives, immediately deploy a medic uh, defender here to bait the future ranged attacks from the boss. Because once the boss falls into the ground, so when the HP drops under 50 or when this Servant dies, but we just reduce the HP to 50, so he will absorb the Servant, recovering some HP, and then will fall into the ground, going to the last form, which will do melee damage and ranged damage. If he's, got, if he's blocked, then we'll do melee damage. If he's not getting blocked, we'll do ranged AoE, small AoE damage. So at least deploying the Defender here, um, the boss will just hit this Defender, instead of our unit here. And since this defender is the last operator we deployed, the fireball skill, which one-shots everything because it's 10,000 arts damage, uh, will go on this one. But the while going on the defender will be killed by Typhon. If cannot kill, even if the fireball reaches here, the radius is around 2 block. Cannot hit our medics. So must deploy the defender here, not here, huh? Here. Really important. Okay, as you can see, the boss just fell into the ground. Will absorb now this servant, recovering 25% of HP, and this ranger attack. Ranger attack, nothing to worry about. This is the skill. This is a fireball. But uh, Typhon will just kill it. Really easy. Now, when this enemy is uh, outside of this block, deploy uh, Vanguard to kill the two, sar the two circles, since there are two of them spawning. Activate the Korra skill to tank less damage. Now just let uh, Typhon slowly, slowly kill the boss. Pay paying attention to don't let uh, yeah, this enemy go through. We can retreat to the flag vanguard, we don't need it anymore. Okay, this one is dead, then just replace it using another defender. So you can keep stalling the boss. Okay, the boss just used the skill, as you can see. As you can see, as you can see. Boom! We one shot my defender, but. Bam! This giant AoE cannot hit our backline. Perfect. So now just to deploy again this. Uh, you, can, you can deploy here as well if you want, at this point, because the boss is dying. Okay, first deploy to block, and the boss is dead. Perfect. You can retreat, retreat this Vanguard as well. Last two enemies remain. Yeah, now it's a bit uh, hard. Tank using this defender. Now we must survive. This one is not, de not dead yet. Oh my god, so tanky. First deploy ready. So let's deploy, first deploy here. Block this one. Come on, Typhon, kill. Defender skill. Okay, now you can let this one go invisible, so Typhon double hit can kill this one. And the last enemy here. Perfect. Oh, A2 advanced emulation also done. Taking these buffs. And we are level 36, plus 295. And by doing this, you don't even need to complete T5 to get... Um, uh, 
35 levels so get the skin so hope this video helped you to complete uh, to get the skin at least in this event thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye